What's up, everybody? How y'all doing this morning? Hopefully, everybody has been having a good week. Uh, I reached the man out for a morning walk, get my cardio in. Yeah, out here, like, uh, hopefully, not get rest by the people in this neighborhood walking around. I figured I didn't want to get on a trip like that. Outdoor walking, and of course, today I think it's windy, which is, I guess, good. It's not too hot. Uh, over here in Brown Clearwater, Florida, back here in the background, you see Barracuda Harley Davidson, Orange County Choppers Roadhouse is back there, and then you got the Quaker Stinking View that I'm cutting circles around right now. But figured I'd get outside, get some fresh air early in the morning, get some exercise, do some cardio. I remember the old Orange County shit. My uh, uncle did there. They had a trailer. Took around. Did a lot of NASCAR events when that show was fairly popular. Uh, and they sold souvenirs and then they bring a trailer with a bunch of the bikes and stuff they built and set them up at the NASCAR races. Uh, when I was working for my cousin who was doing the Harley Davidson motorsport stuff out there on the road selling merchandise um, they uh, uh, he tried to bring that stuff back man but it was just dead at that point in time bunch of bikes that nobody could ride uh, they did go into like a tried to get into doing like a production bike I don't think that ever took off very well uh, I don't know maybe it did but I've never, I've never seen any like out here on the streets with any popularity uh, but yeah I guess that's where Paul Sr. is at now I watched this documentary thing on him a couple weeks ago uh, Paul Jr. still doing Paul Jr. designs or whatever I don't know where the rest of the cast is from that show couple of the guys I met um, I think they just kind of weeded out started their own business started doing different things um, but good for them I mean there's a show it lasts a while, a while I guess just like anything easy come easy go you don't do the right things in your business uh, just try to do it how many of those how many of those type shows have we seen come along where it's a fad for a few years. It's hard, everybody's into it. You see their merchandise and shit everywhere. They're always somewhere taking pictures. Uh, and then all of a sudden, poof, they're gone, right? So I've been a bunch of shows out like that. Uh, I guess that's how TV, everything comes in trends, right? You notice a lot of styles and clothing and stuff. It comes back for a summer or two and then kind of disappears again uh, i don't know it does to me it just doesn't seem quite as much like some things that are out there i guess are creative but a lot of it's digitally creative now but like a lot of the styles as far as like clothing um and that type of stuff there's really not it just goes around somebody may change a little bit of something then it comes back right uh, I don't know it's kind of I don't know movies just like movies I watched that Roadhouse movie they should have left that one alone I hear they're coming out with a Tombstone movie oh god god yeah, I need to quit quit with the Tombstone movies if you want to go back and restart some series and not ruin them start back change it but don't ruin it uh, I know why that one kind of probably won't ever just some comments Kurt Sutter the creator writer or whatever for that show when he was doing Mayans got something with Disney and FX and all that shit for speaking his mind I don't know I mean you can't speak your mind anymore if you're not uh 
if you're not saying the right things or kissing people's ass or you say something offensive, I um, mean, you're crucified. They'll put you on the cross and nail you. Uh, Lord, don't ever offend anyone anymore. I just don't know if times ever change. Uh, and tough people have to come back to life to make shit happen in this world. I don't know. I think the American people may be in trouble. I don't think there's a whole lot of... Um, I know there is a lot of tough people out there that can get out and hunt and fish and do what they need to do to survive, but I think the vast majority of the people in the world ain't gonna make it, bro. They'll be killing each other, eating each other. They won't know how to get out in the woods and, and hunt and fish and not take more, because you know greed, greed's the big thing, right? So people's never gonna not take more than they need, eh? They, they always bitch about, well, it's America, you should be, have freedom, you shouldn't have to buy a fishing license. You should just be able to fish and feed your family. Not too many motherfuckers fish to feed their family unless they're commercial fishing anymore. Same thing with hunting, There's, unless you're like a, a scout or a guide to take people hunting and shit like that. Or, or you live out in the wilderness like people in Alaska and shit. But there's not too many people that hunt and fish. I can even use that damn excuse about hunting and fishing to feed their family because there's not that many people out there anymore. Uh, you know, you may go fishing because you want to eat some fish, but you're going to go fishing because fish, because you're going to eat fish for the next week because that's all you got because you're starving. There ain't too many people left like that. Um, there ain't too many people to do that. Do, 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 honestly, I just don't, I don't know, man. The world has changed, but... You know, that's why they had to put regu regulations on shit because of people's greed, dude. If you didn't regulate, if you didn't regulate some of these people in the world, they'd kill everything. They'd hunt everything, they'd catch everything, and there wouldn't be nothing left. I mean, honestly, if you think about it, that's why they had to create all these regulations and stop people from doing what they're doing, of harvesting, over harvesting uh, animals because there's only so many and you start over harvesting for greed um, there won't be any uh, same thing with fish you know Florida has a lot of regulations on fish uh, last year my wife and I we had some snook but I mean we put them back they were just too small <coughs> but you can only catch one snook I mean it's regulated good fish to eat from what I hear I didn't catch one big enough to eat it. But, uh, sorry, y'all. I'm gonna try to sit you down for just a second.